Morning world, this is Safiso Zulu coming straight to you from Johannesburg. Today I'm going to be talking to you about South African football. South African football, oh, what a shame people say. Oh, what a drag people say. Oh, man, South African football. Well, the dilemma that is South African football, people. I haven't seen somebody score. I'll be nice. Let's say 18 goals in the season. That's me being nice. Being nice, guys. I'm trying to be nice. Okay, I don't want to set the standards too high. But yeah, I haven't seen anybody score 18 goals in a season. For any of these top flight teams that we call the best teams in South Africa, AE or AG if you'd like, say Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, Sundowns who are at top of the league right now. They, I don't know any of their strikers that can come up to my door right now and say, I've scored 18 goals, what do you have to say? None of them can say that to me. Because you know why the standards in South African football are not that high. You can score eight goals and you become a star over one season in South Africa. And then you'll make it into the national team, what's worse. And another dilemma that comes with it is that most of the guys aren't even South African. I don't have a problem with that. But you know what happens when we come to the national team? The people that are strikers do not play for the top team. So they don't get a chance. Then we get into these competitions and we don't have goal scorers which adds to the underlying problem of that the same goal scorers do not have goals or standards to reach because they have not played in a high competition when they were young where they have to score 20 goals a season or 20 goals for the national team. So that's just the start of where the dilemma is, guys. Anyway, let's move along from that. My team is Kaiser Chiefs, as you can see by this orange flag here in the background. That is my team from South Africa that I support that are all back, even though I know it's not all great. The Kaiser Chiefs guys has won the league, uh, let's say, in the last six years, six seasons. I think it's twice. The rest have been other teams. We haven't come close. The last coach that we had that was doing well and would win us the league before anybody could say anything about it was Stuart Baxter, which is now coaching the national team. Yes, Bafana Bafana won the friendly the other day against uh, Zambia, where we won 2-0. And that's a friendly, guys. We haven't uh, qualified for a major competition in the last two seasons. So hopefully now qualifiers are going to be starting. We've got a friendly, one friendly before qualifiers start in uh, September, but a friendly coming up in June. So hopefully we win that and we get into the competition in good stead. Or qualifiers, not even the competition. Anyway, the guys that play for Kaiser Chiefs that I can say people around the world should know about, but hopefully most South Africans should know about, is Shabalala, of course. You've got Kuna there as the goalkeeper. As you know, those guys are the outstanding guys in the Bafana Bafana team. It's like we cannot play if they're not around. So that's the first uh, step with that whole dilemma there. Okay, guys, you've got Sundowns on top of the league. Um, everybody in the, the Absa Premier League has played 28 games so far. Um, I think there is maybe 34 games, if I'm not mistaken. I'll double-check that, guys. But uh, 34 games, so there's uh, four more games left. Uh, Sundowns on top of the log. Everybody's played 28 games so far, so we're all on equal standings. Sundowns have played 28 games. They've won 17, they've drawn five, and they've lost six. And they're on 56 points. And then you've got, of course, Orlando Pirates, uh, which are in second, which have made a drastic turn from the beginning of the season. At the beginning of the season, they were struggling. I can say they were struggling. They had fired a coach. They had so much internal things going on. It just wasn't looking good for them. Uh, even there, were even a stampede. there was even a stampede in one of their games where everything just went right because Sundowns were running right against them. They were scoring goals for fun. So, yes, as I was saying, you've got Orlando, Orlando Pirates who are also 28 games played. They have 14 wins, they have 10 draws, and they have 4 losses, and they're on 52 points. So it's not too far, guys. It's still close. I think Sundowns only needs one game, and they've taken the lead, guys. That's it. Kaboom. 
done over. Anyway, then you've got Maritzburg United who have made a drastic jump. They've been doing so well. They're usually not doing this well. You never usually see them in third. They're usually struggling in the log. It's usually hard for them to get up there to those places because, as we all know, they do not have those good star players. Anyway, as I was going, Ma uh, Maritzburg United have played 28 games. They have uh, won 11. They've drawn 10 and they've lost 7. They're on 40. Three points, so I don't think there's any way they can catch uh, Sundowns, as we all know mathematically, maybe they could, but uh, the way that Sundowns play, the way that they, it's their first season really being up there in the, in the top four, six, I can say, so it's not a Leicester guys, don't worry, that isn't happening over here, it's nothing like that, but yeah, they are in third position. And then you've got Kaiser Chiefs, the team that I support, as we can all see here in the background. Yes, uh, the Glamour Boys, they are on fourth position. They have played 28 games. They have got 10 wins. They've got uh, 12 draws. And they've got six losses. And we're on 42 points. I've given up on the league with them ages ago, guys. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think we would be this close anyway. Because the coach that we've had, Steve Compella, who is, as you've all seen, there was a riot after one of our games as well and has resigned. So in case the Chiefs are sitting there without a coach, we're going to see who we get and hopefully next season we win things and we are back to being the best team in South Africa. So yeah, we are there with 42 points. Then you've got Free State Stars, guys. Free State Stars have played 28 games, have won 10, they've drawn 9, and they've lost 9, and they're on 39 points. We've got Cape Town City, who's coached by Benny McCarthy, as some of you might know, has played in the Champions League, played under Jose Mourinho and Porto, so he's a very good uh, player, some people would say. We're seeing him for the first time coach, um, a good team by himself. So we can give them big ups for him. They're in sixth place. They have played 28 games. They've won 10. They've drawn 7. And they've lost 11. And they have 37 points. We've got Cheaper United. Um, people call them the youngsters. All that stuff. But yeah, they're doing well for themselves as well. They're in seventh place. They're in seventh place. They've won 7. They have drawn 14 and they've lost 7. They're on 35 points. Okay, guys, as I was saying, Chipper United are in 